has mercy for the one who sneezes. So that's one thing. Then the Prophet ﷺ mentioned uh, Radd salam to respond to the greeting of salam. And of course, one of the signs of the Day of Judgment that the Prophet ﷺ mentioned was that people only say salam to those that they know. It's a very sad thing. Um, you know, subhanAllah, you, you try to teach your kids, for example, to say salam to people, and then you're walking in the grocery store. They see someone who's visibly Muslim, and they say, salam alaikum, and the people ignore them. Uh, in fact, subhanAllah, unfortunately, unfortunately, one of the one of the ways in which racism shows itself in the massage of that, if we listen closely enough, that only some people say salam to each other, right? So salam becomes a, a, a form of, of, of fraternity rather than a form of uh, greeting that the Prophet ﷺ obligated upon us as believers towards one another. And then he said, وَنَصْلُ الْمَظْلُومُ And to support the one who is oppressed. Um, so supporting the one who is oppressed requires a sense of awareness and a sense of purpose in finding out who is oppressed and who is wrong that I may help. 